G'day folks. Well, we have a uh, Omni brand telephone, I suppose you call it commander system for autopsy. Yes, lots of little bits and wires and things and uh, things you put up against your head to uh, talk to other people. Hmm. It's old technology, but still it probably worked these days, but I don't know. Everyone uses iPads and iPhones now, so that's not such a bad thing. <laughs> I do see a USB cable in there somewhere. Not, not that I don't have a million of them. Looks like a D sub, but it's min missing a couple of pins. And that is a main distribution panel for the uh, handsets that's only half the handsets or stations that came with this one there are about eight stations nine stations and that one should go in there so what else we got we got that audio input that is on hold music box that'll be interesting to open up we'll see what on hold music looks like <laughs> it's probably horrible more hand pieces So we've got basic stations with no display on them and a couple of more advanced stations with display on them. And that one looks like it's gotten so hot that it's damaged the LCD. <laughs> Typical of a phone that sits right against a window with the direct sunlight bearing down on it. The plastics just go crazy and, well, die. Yeah, this one's been cooked. Everything's held together with sellotape. Sellotape. Well, the hand pieces aren't much different to any other telephone. Um, yeah, you've got a standard loudspeaker. Who's that made by? Uh, something. I can't even read that. It's such crappy moulding. And a little condenser microphone. That's essentially all it is. The rest of it's just plastic housing. Property of Arista. Hmm. Not anymore. And that was inside it as well. So let's open up some of these uh, stations and see what's inside them. Probably not much, just a PCB and a uh, maybe a transformer for power. Fairly heavy. Doesn't look like they have external DC input though. Must be going through the lines. Well, one of these consoles has a display, one doesn't. There ain't much different apart from that. <laughs> Everything else is still there. Interesting stuff, single layer PCB. Uh, that one there going to speakerphone, microphone. All the same. Uh, yeah, it's nicely, reasonably made stuff. Cheap parts, but they still last the job. Last the duration. bunch of ICs on there. UA723CN 74HC458N TC4053BP that one there hmm
Okay, well the pad's pretty straightforward. Little carbon contacts. Fairly robust and reliable. Now the two ICs on this side are both Hitachi ICs. You got a HC374 and a HC138. They're both Hitachi ICs. And that end of the ribbon is hardwired as well. That doesn't unplug. The display, in this case this one's this is a cooked one. It's a SDEC it's a LMC SS2D16-1. Like 16 row or something. 16 bit. Not much use since it's that cooked. Speakers, nothing fancy. Uh, 32 ohm, 0.25 watt, Type 1. Nice little PC speakers, that's about it. So, let's get into the main commander box. The brains of it all. Okay, well this is the uh, brains of it all. It's... Yeah, you got AC transformer, DC power supply, and main board and distribution to the handsets. That one there. I think it's both actually. We've got spark gap arresters, metal oxide arresters, and that also goes straight out to the uh, distribution block, so. A lot of lines. This thing will handle a lot of communications. Um, yeah, let's turn this on. Yeah, it's waiting for something. Probably a signal from something else. There's nothing connected, so what do you expect? <laughs> Realize. Yes, yeah, so it won't do anything else apart from that. Tiny little transformers. This is all low voltage now. Was it plus five volts, twenty four volts, and ground? Yeah, 2032, 3 volt lithium cell. That's standard. Yeah, it doesn't mind that it's missing. <laughs> yeah, Om Omnitel Australia. Now, what model is it? Aristel AV16H. Probably a 16 port commander system. Oops, lost the cover. Yeah, I'd say 8 ports and 8 ports or something like that. I'm not too sure. Fairly decent technology. It's well made. Let's pull the boards out and have a closer look at them. The whole thing's going to come apart anyway. Of no real use to me. I don't exactly need a commander system at my home. <laughs> well, there isn't much point in dismantling it since that's about all there is. <laughs> Just about three boards plus a power supply. I won't throw it in the bin just yet, but generally this sort of thing has a very limited use, so it's probably best you know, scrap metal. Lots of different ICs in here though. We've got Hitachi, Epson, 
NAC, Philips, loads of different ICs. Got a 5 and 24 volt power supply that I'll keep. The rest of it, well, very limited use for this sort of stuff. The MOVs I'll keep. The relays, yes. Uh, there's some opto couplers and other crap on there. Not really a lot of use, really. It's best just to use the scrap metal. I'll wait until I get the vintage one home, the vintage telecom commander system. Look at that, there's four spare fuses in there. Definitely keep them with the power supply. That's where the fuses go. That's nice. Well, you're probably wondering what's inside the little music box. The uh, on hold music box. Not much really. There's an audio transformer. This side here is input, which has a stereo plug on it as standard. And the output goes from, well I guess would be ground, the green one, to C, the red one. And that's it. Now there's four diodes which look like they're arranged in a bridge rectifier configuration. So AC signal to DC. Why it has to go to yeah, DC trans no. transformers are uh, AC, so I'm not sure why it has to be uh, rectified like that. But yeah, who knows? There's not really much to it. There's a polyfilm cap, a bunch of resistors and four diodes that appear to be in bridge rectifier configuration. That's your little on hold music box. Or at least to, I guess you'd say, inject music into a phone line. Hmm. Interesting stuff. And very obsolete and useless stuff. I'll be keeping the uh, stereo plug and lead and that's about it. <laughs> the rest of it's completely useless.